short too because I get emotional when I talk about soccer. Um, so uh, just some people I'd like to thank. Um, my parents, my dad, uh, my dad thinks he knows about the game of soccer and he really doesn't. Um, so he tries to give me advice all the times about things I should do on the field like you need to be in the right spot more often. And I say, yeah, that's a great, how do I, exactly how do I go about doing that? And um, my mom, my mom's just has believed in me since I first started playing soccer. And um, I remember my sophomore year, she would talk to me and she would say, I just don't understand why the coaches aren't playing you more often, David. You know, you're one of the best players on the team. And I, I would say to her, I'm really not, Mom. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's quite a few people in front of me that are pretty good, but I, I appreciate it. Um, and uh, my whole family really supported the program. My brother Graham, I think, came to almost every game that I played in. Um, and they would actually they would tailgate the games, too, before, before um, I like they would get there at about 5.30 or something and they'd set up a little grill in the parking lot and cook burgers. I'd always sneak away from our warm up and run over and eat some food real quick uh, for the game when Jefferson wasn't looking. Uh, um, and uh, that, that leads me into talking to uh, about about Jefferson as a coach. Um, he, I remember when I first tried out uh, to play at William Jewell College, I showed up, I was a senior in high school, and um, I had contacted him earlier, and I came with my brother Graham and my dad, and we went to the, um, we went to the Maybe Center, and I had some futsal shoes, and really he just had me run a few drills and juggle the ball a little bit, and I'm sure I looked like a bit of a scrub. Um, I was all right, and, and I remember after that, I thought to myself, you know, I think I played all right. I, I bet I'll probably get a scholarship here. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And then my brother Graham kind of talked me up to Coach Jefferson as well. Um, and they offered me a chance to play, um, chance to play soccer here at Jewel, and I was considering that. And I was thinking also about going to K-State or Wichita State just to kind of, um, I would play soccer at like a club level or something like that. And um, I really, I just decided to take the opportunity in front of me. I, I love playing soccer and I wanted to see what uh, would become of it, and I I can't believe how much I've prog um, progressed in the sport of soccer at the school, and that really is um, due to Jefferson. I've become, you know, and I mean, just an, I'm gonna be doing things with soccer for the rest of my life too. Whether that's playing um, playing soccer in pickup games when I'm living in Europe, or <coughs> um, you know, coaching at some level eventually uh, later on in my life. So you know. Huge thanks to Jefferson for believing me as a player and as a person. Um, and then to Howard, uh, I just like to thank you for making me a better player. Um, with with a lot of kind of the uh, the mindset that a player needs to have if he wants to be really competitive at this level. Um, and with kind of your intensity, you've conveyed how important this team is to you. And I appreciate I appreciate that. Um, and then finally, I'd, uh, I'd like to thank my teammates and, and my friends for, um, for always being there. Uh, you kind of, you go through a lot of um, mind games and struggles when you, when you put so much of yourself into one sport or one activity. And if you don't have people there to support you emotionally, then it, it can be incredibly difficult at times. And, that's what that's what these people up here have done for me. They've they've been there um, when it's been really difficult, and they've been there and they've been there when it's been amazing. So.